York City. I'm so excited. Today is Saturday and we got into the city last night as you guys saw and now we're in our hotel room obviously and I'm so excited because today we're going to go out and right now we're gonna go head over to Rockefeller Center. We're gonna go see the tree. We're gonna uh, maybe go into the... Right. We'll go probably to Central Park and what I really want to do is get footage of the Alice in Wonderland statue hopefully because we've always been I've been to New York since I was five years old I've always been here I've always been here like New York has always been my second home but I don't think I've ever really gone to see the Alice statue in Central Park I don't I don't think I ever went to go see that so that's what we're gonna go and try and find and then after that we're gonna go head over to Times Square and of course where else would we be going we were going to the Disney store I need in life but a Disney store so that is what we're going to do and I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me and yeah let's go first off look at the view we have all these buildings right here and we're on the 22nd floor I don't think I've ever been this high up so we're not talking about that yet <laughs>
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Did you get a bubble yet? They're, oh, they're almost. The bubble's happening. The bubble's happening. Oh my God. <laughs> Is Amanda using chopsticks? Yes. Oh, to eat her food. Yes. It's obviously a lot, lot later. Today is, today is Tuesday of the next week. So it's been a, quite a bit since I've been in New York City and I realized that I never filmed an outro for the video. So that's what I'm doing now. And I also wanted to show you guys all the books that I got from The Strand. So let's get right into it. So the first book I picked up is this adorable little tiny Alice in Wonderland. Look how pretty it has the edges, but it's so tiny and it's so cute it's obviously way shorter than what act the actual alice in wonderland is but it has so many cute and it has all the illustrations in it it is so adorable so i saw this and i just had to get it because it's it's tiny and it's cute the second thing i got was a little tiny poetry book now this is a little Bronte poems book. This is the same woman that wrote Wuthering Heights. And I just saw this and it's tiny, it's cute. And I wanted more, more classics of poetry. So I got this and I really, really like it. Every night I've just been reading a poem or two at night and I really like it. The next book I got was <laughs> Emily Dickinson's poetry book. This is every single poem she's ever written. So it's this big and I just had to get it because it's so pretty. And like I said before, I wanted to get more of the classic poems and this is obviously the biggest one I think I could find. So I had to pick this up. And then the last one I think I'm most excited for is the Harry Potter um, 20th anniversary book, the limited edition book. They actually had this at the Strand. It's the pop-up book that came out earlier this year and it's literally so pretty and it has little things inside and this is his letter has so many things, little details all throughout the whole book. And they're obviously doing this for the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. And I'm so grateful to have this now. It's so, so pretty. And the, the, the cover, the cover, and it's so gorgeous. So I just had to pick this up because I've been eyeing this for months now. And I'm so grateful that I actually found it at the Strand. And it's so pretty. It's all of Diagon's Alley and you can 
push it up like that. This is so pretty. My singing teacher um, was very jealous when I picked this up. So those were all the books that I picked up at the Strand. And I also got a tote bag because I had to get a tote bag because again, I love tote bags. And I'm just, I was, you should have seen my face. I know I didn't film a lot of my face at, in the Strand, but I was like crying. I was literally crying in the Strand. I'm like, I've never been in a place with so many books. And I honestly felt like Belle from Beauty and the Beast when he gives her the entire library and it was just so much fun to be in there and I just I felt completely at home in there and it was so so fun and I am so grateful for this trip to New York City I had such a fun time and like I said before this was um, another get another birthday gift so another happy wonderful birthday gift and I'm so grateful that I was able to go and like I said before to, I haven't been to New York City in two years over two years and that just makes me want to cry because like when I first got into the city, I was like so happy. I'm like, I'm finally back. I'm finally back. It's finally safe to be back. And New York City is honestly my second home. And I do think I'm definitely going to be living there when I'm older. So that is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you have not already. And click the notification bell so you have been notified every single time that I upload. And as always, remember to be the Captain Jack Sparrow of your story. And may your compass lead you to amazing things. And if you want to find me anywhere else, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads, Pinterest, and in between the pages of a book. And I'm so grateful that you guys were able to come along with me on this travel vlog. I'm so grateful to have spent the holidays in New York City and I'm so excited. Today is, as I'm filming this, it is December 21st. So there's three more days till Christmas Eve and that's just crazy to me. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and I hope you have an amazing time with your family and I just wish you all the best. And I'm so grateful for all of you. So guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>